Representing the 20 to 26 foot class in the center console category, the Contender 25T has an overall length of 25 feet 3 inches, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 400. Built to tame rough water, she has a draft of 18 inches, a dead rise of 24.5 degrees, a dry weight of 4,200 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 178 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. George, welcome aboard the Contender 25T. We've seen so many companies come and go since the explosion of center consoles. You know it's been a constant for the last 30 plus years. Absolutely, Contender. Yeah, these boats definitely have their own personality, Rick, and this one's got something really special going on for it. This is the entry size boat to get into their big boat construction. And that means a lot. It's the start of their three-piece construction. It's the start of their four grid stringer system. Everything that they build on a 39, they put into this boat, like you would say, it just stayed in the oven a little too long. Absolutely, if you pop the deck off of this boat, it's gonna look exactly the same as a 39. For the tournament guy, the guy that's real serious about fishing, this is the entry level size boat for that type of guy. This boat's got a bottom that's based on the original 25 Classic, the boat that really got everything started for Contender. Not a step hull, it's got this V bottom that everybody loves. We've seen it and loved it for years and it's on this boat just with a lot of technological advances since they started. Let's look at some of the reasons why this boat has stood the test of time and we can start right up here. Rick, this is a 25 foot boat, but it's set up exactly like the bigger boats here, this serious fishing configuration and it's open up here. There's room for a couple of guys to work. You've got a giant fish box under your feet right here. You've got a drink box right there, big anchor locker right here. I mean, this is a perfect setup. George, you said a lot when you said room for guys to work. We've seen a lot of stuff that you can fish around, but if you've got a tournament crew or a very serious crew, what they want is room, and they want room to do what they do, and who does that better than Contender? George, stop right where you are a minute. Take a look at this console from the front. You notice how much different it is in the old style? Absolutely, Rick. I remember they actually introduced this console at the Miami Boat Show and I loved it back then. It's a very racy looking profile. Totally retooled the thing. I love this round windshield too. I mean, the whole thing, it's just got a real sexy vibe. Look at your T-top legs. They don't go all the way down to the deck and take up that space. They tuck into the sides of the console. Sleek looking, I agree with you, but very, very functional. Yeah, and then bolting to the front of the console here, this little cutaway right here opens up a lot of shoulder space when you walk into the back of the boat. Let's go back there and take a look at the cockpit. Rick, the functionality of this style of this new console really extends back to here also. If you look at that rounded shape, this rounded stratoglass window here, it really breaks up the wind when you're running and that really, it's like a windshield on a car looking at it. It's not square, hard lines, it's really streamlined. Break up that wind when you're running 40 miles an hour to get to the ground. Got a great big dash panel to put. A, this one's got a huge single display on it. You got plenty of room to put two displays if you want to. Fits in there nicely. All your instrumentation's right here. It's all packed into this space, Rick, but it's laid out really clean, just the way I like it. This is also a boat that's really set up for serious tournament fishing. Notice this rocket launcher leaning post. You know, this is the traditional style. Rod holders across the back. Just lean up against it or sit on it and storage underneath. Go with the basics, it's really all you need and nothing you don't. George, speaking of this boat being a tournament boat, being hardcore, who does a live well system better than Contender? And it's in my favorite place, it's up on the transfer. Absolutely, I mean, everything you need, as I said, Definitely an advantage to putting that live well up in the transom. I like not having to bend over or get down on my hands and knees to get a bait, especially on a rough day offshore. Perfect spot for that. And a clean deck layout back here. You've got two storage boxes. You've got a great big access to your build and your build systems right there. And just a real easy to fish in size cockpit. And there make no mistake about it. When they call it a tournament boat, part of it that it has to come into, of course, is the length and the beam. But how about the height? We mentioned it up in the bow. Back here, it's definitely a blue water freeboard. You understand what I mean by yeah. that? So George, the long and short of it is, this is a 25 foot tournament offshore boat. You can pull it with a 1500 truck, you can store it in a lot of places. You can afford to own it, and yet you can still be very serious offshore. Contender built this boat, but the original of this hull may well be the boat that built Contender. 